what is going on guys it's your girl janiqua a and i am back with another reading for my lovely water signs this time so this is a bonus reading for my lovely water signs because your element had the most views for this um week all right so i felt like it was only right so we are going to pull um overall energy and an overall message just to see what um spirit has for you out of this deck and then we're going to, oh, we're going to go into terror. So, oh, three cards came out and we are going to read them. So, the first card that came out, my lovely water signs, is attack, pain, fear, judgment, and any form of separations are merely calls for help. So, this is you being reminded that any words of slander, any form of attack, any form of fear or fear-based energy, any form of negative judgment that you've experienced from other people, just know that those people that, that have, you know, did those things, that is merely just a call for help. That is a reflection on how they feel, all right? So this is a reminder to not react to certain people and things because once you realize that it's only a reflection of how they really feel about themselves, you start to feel sad and you start to actually empathize with them rather than entertaining the chaos. So the next card reads, my happiness is a direct reflection of my level of faith in the universe. That coincides literally with what this just said, all right? So basically your happiness, right? When your aura is glowing, when you are in full alignment and in joy and that peace in the present moment, it shines. It shines and it is a reflection of your level of faith in the universe. When, you're, when you could be happy, when you could um, be grateful in the times of chaos, when you can show love in areas where you might be triggered. All right. So maybe that is what this um, full moon right on October 9th was illuminating for you guys it is to release the feeling or the need to react to certain people places and things because you want to defend yourself you want to defend your name instead you are being called to understand that again fear pain and when you are being attacked when you, when you are being bullied when you are being um when you have you know negative judgment placed on you okay that is just a reflection of how that person feels about themselves. Because nine times out of 10, if you are happy and you are just grateful in your present moment, you're not going to, you know, be attacking no one. You are not going to take your frustration out on anyone else because you're better than that. Your higher self won't let you do that and disrespect yourself. Again, so that is... um the messages out of those two cards, knowing that when you're happy, it reflects. When you are angry and um, sad and, uh, and unhealed, it reflects. And it reflects sometimes in a form of anger, in a form of bullying. And you can also reflect your happiness in a good way. And it shows one's level of faith when you can continue to find joy every day you wake up all right the last card from this deck reads when i lean towards love i am led so this is all about you releasing attachments to feeling like you have to react to people places and things again this is you knowing that you don't have to give your energy to anyone or anybody that may be causing chaos because you kind of empathize with them again because you know that's only a reflection of themselves, all right? And when you're happy, it shows. 
So we are going to see what the spirit has for you, my lovely water signs, regarding the um, solar eclipse on October 25th, okay? So this is the energies surrounding the solar eclipse on October 25th. And I see you guys stepping into your energy of strength, and taking accountability for your actions. I see you having a, a judgment call on your life to where you are deciding to take things more serious moving forward. This is you finding peace and forgiveness for the disappointments you may have caused to others. This is allowing your aura to feel graceful and compassionate and nurturing and loving because not only are you able to embody so much strength from different things that you experience, you know, throughout life, but if you see this lion, this lion takes up the whole front of the half of this card. He can easily devour his prey. But he chooses not to because the energy is giving off a certain vibration of respect. Of boundaries. Of power. And protection. All right. So that is the energy that I see you in as we are embodying the um, solar eclipse, uh, October 25th. You are really stepping in to your divine self, taking accountability, not putting a blame on no one else and really being discerning, really opening up your heart to areas and to people that you find challenging. You are actually, again, grasping opportunities in areas where you may have once been annoyed with. Welcome and, and change. And again, this is all about people having a, a very, very high respect for you. Because again, the lion, the lion can easily devour this image right here. But again, there's a sense of boundaries and and respect, right? That this uh, that this energy gives off to the animal. Excuse my door, guys. So I really see you not only taking accountability, my lovely water signs, for things um, that you may have done in the past or decisions that you may have made from a poor mindset, but now that's all over. And the cool thing about this, um, you know, strength card is that after you take accountability, you totally and wholeheartedly forgive yourself. You literally forgive yourself and move on. And that allows you to be so graceful. That allows you to show so much compassion for others because you show it to yourself. You're not so hard on yourself. You know that you're human and you are allowed to make mistakes, right? So the next card out is you have choices. This is all about you being faced with a choice on whether or not you are going to utilize what you have on hand right now to do whatever it is that you need to do, or are you going to wait? And are you going to wait for people to help you? Or are you going to wait for things to just suddenly appear? Because a very important key to manifestation is doing the work and taking the right action. So, you know, not only with growth, I see you guys coming in and stepping into the middle of October strong, at peace, embracing your feminine side, your divine feminine side, while still mastering the beast that's within you. You are no longer fighting your ego. You are no longer at war with your shadow side. You are now at peace with integrating both your shadow and your higher self. You find no separation. You are completely 
oneness with all things around you, right? And that's why you give off such a nurturing energy. Again, there's a decision that needs to be made. And I feel like with a little bit more time, because you might be under, um, under divine pressure. So sorry, the dog is barking. But you might be under a lot of divine pressure right now, especially coming out of retrograde. So right now, you know, my advice will, um, you know, would be to relax a little. Don't move too fast. Strategically plan out your next move. See where your next opportunity is, right? Always be ahead of the game when it comes to the next step you take it in life. You have yummy ya. Oh my gosh. And we are water signs. Isn't that amazing? We are water signs. I am doing a bonus reading for the water signs. And here you go. The goddess of the ocean. The goddess of all waters. When Yemaya come, just know that you and the path and the journey and the chapter that you are in now, that you are experiencing, it is going to be fruitful. You're going to be protected by source. When Yemiya comes, she brings a sense of peace and self-love. She wants you to know that you are forgiven and you are always protected, no matter your faults. Because karma handles that. She is here to give you divine love. She is here to give you that nurturing and motherly energy. She's here to, you know... Make you feel like you're wrapped under a very, very secure receiving blanket, right? And that you're comfortable. So, if you, ex if you experience ways or energies where you want to incorporate compassion, where you want to kind of speak up for someone in need or speak the truth about something... Uh, this is Yemiya, you know, surrounding you with all of her healing energy from the water, right? She wants to provide you all of that protection and safeness and luxury and abundance so that way you can live here in this earthly realm's good. You see how I'm able to still read the cards while my dog is barking? And excuse me if it's annoying to you guys, but this reading must be delivered. And here is a message where Yemiya, a very, very powerful and strong and nurturing Orisha that governs the waters, is here. And gracing your reading with her presence, with her spirit. And again, this is you removing the veil of separation from you and spirit. No longer thinking that material uh, blessings is not your birthright. No longer thinking that you have to work night and day until you die in order for you to live a life of luxury. That stops today with Yemiya here. You are going to feel more strong and powerful, but yet nurturing. You are going to want to bring solutions to problems. So expect that. And with doing this and embodying, you know, Yemiya's energy, you are going to gravitate a lot of people and a lot of opportunities around you my lovely water signs. With this energy, I see you guys really creating partnerships that is actually resourceful when it comes to you, you know, needing help or some type of assistance when uh, in regards to your business or in areas where you are going to be pushed forward in life rather than just stagnant. All right, so 
this is amazing we're gonna pull one more card and we're gonna close out your uh bonus reading because you know i got the message so the last card is the witch doctor which is the high priestess and when you get the high priestess card it is calling you again to embrace your shadow side to embrace your ego right and to tame it like this woman is doing with the beast that's inside all of us she's no longer separated from her shadow side but rather having boundaries and respect with one another even if you got to talk to yourself and saying hey i'm in control this is you being in control of your you know your physical body and your mind and your ego you have you have everything in order and that's what the witch doctor brings she brings balance she invites you to visit your shadow side more and to see where you need to heal in areas where you are still triggered rather than running from the situation when the witch doctor comes you know out you could be either seeking spiritual practices or learning or teaching yourself or educating yourself on how to become more aligned in regards to like different chakras you know you are becoming more um educated right You can actually be thinking of starting a career path in that industry because, you know, the witch doctor embodies the energy of being sustained and being very, very financially stable of the fruits of her labor because she is very skilled at what she does, right? So... Again, this is all about you embracing the spirit of Yemaya and really being at home when you are submerged in your feelings. And that goes for Yemaya. Your feelings is your water, your liquid, the part of your body, right? And Yemaya governs all of the oceans and the seas. So she's here to let you know that it is okay to embrace your dark side, your shadow side, your feisty side. Instead of not wanting it to come out, just tame it. Just tame it and know that there's no separation, again, from your higher self and from your, you know, your raunchy side, your rebellion side. This is all about you, again, making that choice to lift the veil of separation when it comes to, you know, the devil or any toxic energy trying to make you stay in an energy of fear, of stagnation, of procrastination, of addictions, of lust, of sex. So, again, you made the choice. When you see the galactic colors in a card, for me, that's usually, you know, the cosmos. That's the ethers. That's spirit, right? And there's no veil here. Usually there's a veil, you know, that we are all trying to, you know, lift and become our higher self. This is you choosing the path of trust and faith. This is you choosing to release any separational energy when it comes to you and spirit. So even if, even at your darkest moments, even in the most solitude energy, you know that you are never alone. The witch doctor embodies keeping her ancestor leg legacy on. She embodies honoring her ancestors. Her hair is filled with secret wisdom that she's able to hide. There's a box right here that is cracked open, filled with uh, magical spirituality. 
that she uses. So again, she's very powerful and this is you. This is spirit telling you and showing you how powerful you are, how creative you can be, how healing your energy can be if you want to go that route or you're just seeking guidance from a higher source. But you have the ability to tap in to your to your intuition and not be afraid of journeying on a path that may not look so clear. This is you being called to choose a path that you may not know the outcome. This is you trusting that spirit is always there in the deepest, darkest times to guide you. And wherever there's dark, there must come light. So this is you releasing any fear of being alone. This is you releasing any fear of nostalgia, of procrastination. This is you taking accountability, my water signs, and really tapping into your emotions finally and being comfortable there. Adapting to your surroundings, right? And knowing how to tap in and out of your emotions. Knowing that spirit is always there to protect you and Yemiya is here to grace you with love, with nurturing, with security, with abundance and prosperity because it is who you are. It is your legacy. So that's what I have for you, my lovely water signs, as your bonus reading. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for giving me the most views this week. And I really love you.